So before we can get uh, energy and uh, momentum for a relativistic object, a relativistic particle, we first need to define a relativistic Lagrangian. Uh, so far we have only looked at non-relativistic Lagrangian, but um, we know that to get the momentum and the energy, um, these quantities are defined uh, from the Lagrangian itself. So we need relativistic expression for the Lagrangian. We will do that for a free particle that is without any potential, which we know um, is a, um, in, a, in classical physics uh, moves uh, in straight line. Um, and we, we start with the action, the, the important um, quantity which contains all the physics is really the action. Um, as we have seen, it's important uh, because that's how you um, some path in quantum mechanics, that's how you get classical path with stationary reaction, etc. So the action is written as the time integral of a Lagrangian. Now, um, the action to be uh, 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 re relativistic needs to be uh, invariant under uh, Lorentz transformation. This needs to be the same quantity, the same number, um, when we go from one initial frame to another. Um, and that's because um, we want uh, our physics to obey uh, the relativity principles. Uh, the problem is that um, when you look at its expression as a time integral, um, the time changes from one frame to another. So for instance, if I change uh, my in time uh, dt um, into the proper frame, um, I, I know that there is a time deletion effect and then I have a factor gamma uh, in front of the proper time dt p. And uh, border, the boundary of the integral also change. So we want the action to be independent of the velocity of the observer. Um, so with the, um, the way we can, the problem is that the gamma factor uh, obviously depend on this velocity. So the only way we can get something which doesn't depend on uh, the velocity is if we define the Lagrangian um, times the gamma factor as being a constant. In other words, uh, we then define the Lagrangian as a constant divided by gamma. Let's have a look at the units of uh, this equation. So we know that the Lagrangian has the unit of energy. Um, the gamma is unitless, therefore our constant must have unit of energy as well. Uh, in the system, the only thing I know about the system is its mass. Uh, so I could build an energy by taking the mass and multiplying by v squared, like in a kinetic energy. The problem is then I will get um, uh, something which depends on the velocity and I don't want that because I want my action to be invariant um, for under Lorentz transformation. Uh, so I need to build an energy with a mass and with a velocity which will be a constant in any frame. Well, the only one we know of which uh, obeys this property is the speed of light. So the only way I can build an energy, uh, a constant energy, is if I take the mass and I multiply it by c squared. So my constant is proportional to mc squared. I still have a dimensionless constant alpha I need to determine. Uh, to do that, we will um, uh, calculate the momentum from this Lagrangian. That would be a relativistic momentum. And we will take a non-relativistic limit, that is when the velocity is much smaller compared to the speed of light. And then we will uh, be able to fix the constant alpha by comparing with the momentum for a non-relativistic particle. So by rewriting the Lagrangian in this way as a function of x dot explicitly, uh, I can easily calculate the momentum as a partial derivative of L with respect to x dot. And this gives... If we take now the non-relativistic limit, that means we take V much smaller with respect to the speed of light. Um, we know that in this case we get gamma approximately equal to 1. So this gives the momentum P um, equal m x dot if I choose alpha to be equal to minus 1. 
So by that this gives an expression for the Lagrangian, which is minus mc squared divided by gamma. And the relativistic momentum, which we have uh, derived, is just gamma times m x dot. And of course, again, uh, for a non-relativistic system, gamma is equal to 1, so we recover the uh, non-relativistic momentum uh, m x dot or mv.